Hi, this is Nacho Math, and this video is about helping you remember some of the trig identities useful in pre-calculus using a tool called the Magic Hexagon. First, you have to draw the actual hexagon. It's just a regular hexagon with lines connecting opposite ends. To fill in the hexagon, you I, I just remember T S C and that goes clockwise. T stands for tangent, S stands for sine, and C stands for cosine. The opposite ends of these, uh, the opposite vertices, are just the reciprocals of each function. The reciprocal of tangent is cotangent, reciprocal of sine is cosecant, and the reciprocal of cosine is secant. In the middle, there is a simple number 1. I'll show you that, uh, why that is in a minute. Uh, so the f uh, four identities that uh, four sets of identities that you can get from this are the quotient identities, the product identities, the cofunction identities, and the Pythagorean identities. To find uh, to use the quotient identities, all you need to do is find one function. For example, let's use tangent, and go clockwise. Take the next two functions, and you know that tangent theta is equal to sine theta over cosine theta. So I'll write that down. Tangent theta is equal to take the next two functions and divide them. E tangent theta is equal to sine theta over cosine theta. Similarly, sine theta is equal to cosine theta over cotangent theta. We can also use this um, using the one, which is there because of this. Tangent theta is equal to one over cotangent theta. Now that should be obvious because that just means a reciprocal and you already knew that to fill this out anyways. But that's why the one is there. And the product identities can also be found using this hexagon. Uh, let's take sine theta. Sine theta, once you take that function, you take the two functions immediately adjacent to it, tangent theta and cosine theta. And sine theta will be the product of those two functions. So sine theta is equal to tangent theta times cosine theta. This goes all the way around the circle as well. So cotangent theta would be equal to cosine theta times cosecant theta. And again, that goes all the way around. You can do it however you want. And 1 is equal to tangent times cotangent. That works too. 1 is equal to secant times cosine. All right, the next set of identities you can get from the uh, from the magic hexagon is the are the cofunction identities. The cofunction identities simply state sine theta is equal to cosine oops, cosine of 90 minus theta. Tangent theta is equal to cotangent of 90 minus theta and secant theta is equal to cosecant of 90 minus theta. This also reverses, so cosine of theta is equal to sine of 90 minus theta. Cotangent theta is equal to tangent of 90 minus theta, and so on. The most important of the identities, uh, in my opinion, that you can get from this are the Pythagorean identities. These are my hardest ones to remember, but in using this hexagon it is pretty easy to remember so when you use the Pythagorean identities you have to kind of imagine that each one of these are squared so imagine uh, that this actually is uh, sine squared theta this is cosine squared theta etc 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 and uh, to use the Pythagorean identities you take you like each little triangle this triangle right here this triangle right here and this triangle right here. You can use this triangle to find the Pythagorean identities. Sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1. It's like a funnel. The two at the top add up to the one at the bottom. So sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals to 1. 1 plus cotangent squared theta is equal to cosecant squared theta. Tangent squared theta plus 1 is equal to secant squared theta. You see the like the funnel. That's how I remember it. I don't know. I don't know how else to describe it, but the two at the top add up to the one below. 
No, because uh, adding is just is and subtraction are opposites. What you could do is also use the bottom subtracting uh, subtract one of the top ones to get the other top one. For example, one minus cosine squared theta is equal to sine squared theta. Cosecant minus cotangent squared theta is equal to one. Secant squared theta minus one is equal to tangent squared theta. These again are probably the hardest to remember out of these, but this will definitely help you on quizzes, tests, anything in pre-calculus basically. If you draw this down right before or when you when the test is passed out, you jot this down real quick, you shouldn't uh, mess up any of these four identities. Thank you very much. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you.